All right, in this short video, I'm gonna show you one of the most important things you need to do regularly whenever you're working with temperature clamps. And this is also true with pressure ports. So you zero them out just by hitting the zero pressure button here on the S-Man. This is the S-Man 380V from Fieldpiece. It's currently one of my favorite manifolds out in the marketplace today. It works with the wireless job link probes as well as your kind of standard connected thermocouple probes. And when you're working with thermocouple probes like these, you have to calibrate them periodically. And the calibration has to stay with the same port. So we could calibrate and then move this thermometer, this thermocouple over to the other side. We have to keep them on the same ports uh, or then we have to recalibrate. And so what you want to do in order to do this is get yourself a bowl of ice water. Make sure that it's nicely mixed around so that the ice is melting. You want the water to be as pure as you possibly can, but realistically, you know, how many of you are making ice out of distilled water? Probably not many, but if you want to, you know, make it really accurate, you can use distilled water. And then what we do is we take our clamps and we put them in the ice bath. Now, one little trick that you can employ with these types of clamps, you can't do it with um, with some of the other types or even the wireless job link probes because they're designed to measure through the copper lines. But with these, what you can do is you can actually clamp them onto a piece of ice and that way you'll actually have ice melting right up against. So you still have to be in the ice water for it to be accurate. But if you clamp them around that piece of melting ice, that's gonna be right at that 32 or as close as possible. It'll make it less variable. All right, so we've got it in the ice bath and now we're gonna zoom in and see what we have on our display. All right, so you can see we're reading just slightly high. 30 three degrees on both of them. So we're gonna go ahead and calibrate, which is very simple. We just hit the menu button and then we scroll through until we get to the calibrate temperature option, cal temp, hit enter, and then go down to each one of these clamps that we have immersed in the ice water or actually clamped around an ice cube. And we hit enter, we adjust them to 32. That was the suction line temperature side. And then I'm going to do liquid line temperature side, adjust that to 32. And when you calibrate them in this way, they are plus or minus one degree of accuracy. Went up 0.1, but it's kind of just fluctuating back and forth. So I'm not gonna adjust it any further. And then when we're done, all we do is hit menu and that goes back to the beginning. So making sure that you're calibrated to a known temperature, in this case, the known temperature of water at saturation when it's when it's melting it's 32 degrees and since so that's what we're calibrating to and if we want to zero out to pressure on this particular manifold all we do is we make sure that the hoses are all open and then we hit the zero pressure button in order to zero it out so very simple um, I like what field piece has done with this and how simple that they've made it um, to do this if you're working with measure quick this manifold also works with measure quick it also functions with the job link probes and you can actually calibrate the job link temperature clamps in this same method um, it's just if they're connected then they'll show up in that interface. You can calibrate those as well. So that is the S-Man 380V, the newest manifold from Fieldpiece. Really like this manifold. It does work with Measure Quick. And also, while we're on the subject, you can go through Measure Quick and do some offsets on temperature and pressures within Measure Quick as well. And that's a really important piece of what we do, just making sure that we start off as accurate as we can be. Thanks for watching.